Hi, this is Toot. That's the lady of my life. And she likes to go ride in the boat and go fishing. Every now and then she falls in the water. And who are you? But I'm Jack M. Ray, better known as Skeeter, or they call me sometimes the godfather of the bayou. We try to own up to what we are and just enjoy life. Favorite thing for us to do around here is probably cook and shoot the bull. If we feel like doing it, we do it. If we don't feel like doing it, we don't do it. We get up in the morning, if we feel like doing something, we go do it. If we don't feel like doing nothing, we don't do nothing, we get up to cold beer. <laughs> and just enjoy the day, especially when we got a day like today, you know, but we try to work a little bit once in a while. Not often, but now and then we get something done. And what are we doing today right now? Not too much. <laughs> One hell of a glorious meal. If it got any better than this, the good Lord kept it for himself. He didn't give it to us. Thank you. Welcome to Opa Opelousas in Louisiana. We've tracked down this guy called Skeeter, Skeeter Ray. The idea was to find someone who is very Cajun, who can cook for us, show us the ways, show us really what it's like to be Cajun. And we came across this guy who was on a television show 10 years ago and was such a character. We did some Facebook spamming and hunting, found his phone number through one of his Facebook friends and are meeting him for the first time. The plan today, meet Skeeter Ray and make some Cajun food. And that's about all we got. His house is about five minutes away. Let's go say hi. Hey, puppy dog. How you doing? How you doing? Skeeter. Uh, yeah, good to meet you. Good to meet you, man. I got one question. What's that? How did you find out about me? <laughs> you know, how you got my number? That you is... don't matter. I'm glad you did. <laughs> that is a good question. Skeeter Ray invites us inside for some lunch. We have been invited into my friend's home here. Skeeter? Hi, I'm Skeeter. I'm the head cook, chief bottle washer around here. <laughs> I do it all. <laughs> and what are, what are we eating? And we're eating some um, uh, uh, alligator and frog in a gravy. Yeah, this is it. So that's th it, right here. That's a piece of alligator? Or that's a piece of alligator. And show us a piece of frog. And that's a frog. Oh, yeah, man. He tells us it's crawfish season and he's got a bit of a secret recipe. He knows a place where we can get a fresh sack, but I brought a few beers and cigars, so we decide to shoot the bull a little bit first. You call these lady beers? Yeah. Why? They, there's nothing in them, man. You, you, you drink that in the middle of the light and pay your water bill twice. <laughs> Don't make you do nothing but pee pee. It says ultra, though. Is it not ultra? Yeah, ultra light. Oh, I didn't ultra know. Ultra light. You might drink that Budweiser, that old Budweiser. <laughs> drink that old Budweiser. They've got a kick to the dick, boy. I'll put that down, man. Oh, what? I have these, though. These are from Cuba. Let me see that, man. Romeo and Juliet. That's a good cigar. It is. Romeo and Juliet. They make you sing to your girlfriend. That's right. <laughs> we head off in Skeeter's pickup truck to get us some crawfish. So one person can eat how many pounds of crawfish? Depends who it is. All right. How about how about me? You, you probably want to eat for two three pounds. And how about you? I can sit down and fuck up about five or eight pounds. Fuck up about about five or eight pounds. You know, <laughs> depends on, if I boil them, yeah, I can eat five, six pounds. All right. Crawfish are a big deal here in Louisiana, and we've come just at the right time. Rice paddy fields are the perfect place to grow crawfish. So when it's not time for rice, it's time to crunch on these little crustaceans. Most are trapped fresh in the morning, using these wild amphibious boats. After about 15 minutes of driving, we arrive at Alonzo's Crawfish Shack and get a big bag of fresh ones for the boys. You will be in this video for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's right there, see? Next, we stop by the grocery store to grab some vegetables for the pot. And we're gonna throw one little bag of carrots in there. Sweet corn on the crop. It'll all go together with seasoning for Skeeter's secret recipe. Somebody bring the, uh, the sack of crawfish. Oh, 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 oh is, is it got cold? me. Cold beer? Cold beer. One cold beer and cold I got beer. the sack, yeah? Yeah, you grab the crawfish. I got the ice chest ready. <laughs> all right, a little plan breakdown here. Uh, number one, get some more beer. 
because we're out. Number two, we're going to purge the crawfish. We're going to put them in water for a little while first to kind of, you know, get the stuff moving out of them. Then we're going to start boiling the vegetables because the vegetables take longer to cook than the crawfish do. And while those all simmer with the, 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 the spices and everything, the crawfish will deplete themselves. We'll put it together and it'll be our feast. I like that. Good paws. Look at the size of them paws. Yeah. You can eat those claws, right? What? I imagine we do. That's a good one. Ha cha cha. Ah, don't dump them in there. That's what you said, right? No, put them in there. Put everything in there. Peter, how do you know which vegetables to use in uh, for crawfish? We've been doing it for years. What goes with it? You know what I'm saying. Don't do this home. This is done by a professional. <laughs> you could cut yourself. <laughs> we have we have been drinking though. Yeah. Professionals don't have to be sober. The broth, mushrooms, carrots, potatoes, and whole cans of corn. I mean, not just what's inside, the whole freaking cans. Oh, I gotta go get the winner. Okay, now let's see here. Gotta pack them away. I believe we got it. We got it going on. A lot of work in a short time, right quick like, but we got it done. Thanks to the good help of my cameraman. While the vegetables boil away, I pull Skeeter aside to ask him if he has any advice about life, love, and happiness for another video I want to make. And what about people who are going through tough times? I had one person ask me that, uh, who was going through a tough time and they wanted to hear you talk about getting through tough times. Well, let me tell you something about a tough time. I've been through some tough times and what have you, but there's always someone that you can talk to that's been through a tougher time than you. Mm. Look around. Don't do nothing stupid. You know, if you're depressed, you're not happy about something, you got a friend, you got somebody you can go talk to. Go share your thoughts. And, and that will console you and help you figure out a way to get over this problem. And, uh, Skeeter Ray's buddy Mike shows up, or as most people call him, Squirrel. It's all good in the neighborhood. <laughs> That's right. And there ain't Applebee's around here. Cold beer, good crawfish, and good friends. We enjoying life having a good time, drinking cold beer and, and socializing. We call it socializing. That's what it is. We're gonna feed y'all some ball crawfish. I'm excited. Like they need to be fed, you know. I'm gonna sit you down there, I'm gonna put your bib under your shirt, that way you don't get crawfish on your shirt and then let you get messy and have a good time. I'm learning something real quick. This man, Skeeter Ray, is a goddamn national treasure. <laughs> if you want to hear the full video of the Cajun wisdom of Skeeter Ray and Squirrel, how do you find a good woman? Now that's a hard question, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the next episode on Fearless and Far. When we start eating, you know, uh -huh. she's going to be right there to get her share. I promise you. How often do you have crawfish in a season? Like once a month, once a week? Sometimes. Sometimes it might be uh, once a week, man. Yeah. But it seems like one of those things you, you, you don't do by yourself, you know. You, you invite all your friends over, mm -hmm. have some beers. Have some moonshine, <laughs> whatever, cigars, I guess. And you, uh, you make it like an event and, and cut up, you know. And cut it up. I like it. So how long you been smoking these for? A while. A while. For me, it was one of those things that I, I started doing when I was enjoying myself. And you know what? In this world today, we don't enjoy ourselves enough, it seems. We stress about everything. This was a... Uh, Ain't nothing better when you sit down and relax. You're drinking a cold beer I know. and a good cigar. Would it be a big one or it be a small one like that? <laughs> There's a bit of a size you know? difference, yeah? Let's see yours. 
Yeah. Does this <laughs> reflect my manhood? Am I less of a man because of this? Or uh, no, no, you're no, not, no. You're not judging no, They're me. both good. They're both good. <laughs> it just depends on what you want to put on, you know. Well, that that shit might kill me. That's as big as like a sausage. Huh? That's as big as a sausage. Or yeah, but it's smooth, yeah. Or maybe something else. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly. With this, the veggies uh, almost really done, good. Skeeter finally off. explains his crawfish secret. I'm going to shock them. You're going to shock them? When I shock them, what it's going to do, I shock them and then I let them sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And what does that do, the shocking? It makes them draw the water and the seeds that it's in here, it makes them eat them up. When it cook, put that oh, thing it in there, into the it sucks body. in the seasoning. And when you go to eating them rascals, they season right there. When you break them open, the, the juice, you gotta watch and lean over because the juice runs out of crawfish. <laughs> you need like a bib, you need like they a... They're so much better like that, buddy. <laughs> we get them ready for the pot, and Toots gets a treat. Y'all be not and you're in the game. The crawfish go in, boil for a few minutes, then we shock them. I had never seen this before. Uncommon actions produce uncommon results. And apparently, this step makes all the difference. First step, we taste our canned corn. Is it good, is it good? All right, crawfish is in the pot. This is the corn, the can, holes in the side, boiled in the water with the vegetables and the seasoning. Yep. And not pepper, it's good. Yeah. I put too much seasoning. in. It's good? It's not, Mike. I, I eat some of it, but sometimes it ain't. It's sweet, though. <laughs> I'm talking about? You gotta sweeten it to it, huh? That's a lot easier than eating that thumb of a gun off that cob. And Here I, I sit broken hearted with my friend Mike that farted. You're not gonna let that go. A guy does one thing once and we talk about it all night, right? Well, no, bet, that's all it, I want to say. Bet it's bet it's bet 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 uh, wait. Been I said, Cajun. yeah, Mike sit broken hearted, but he only farted. Okay. <laughs> but he's okay. I love him like a fly love a bowl of milk, you know? <laughs> you love he's him like, my, a, like he's a... what I call my asshole buddy. <laughs> <laughs> True that, my, my friend. My, uh, my Canadian ay 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 Bro, y'all come here any time you want, bro. You, the door is always open. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I, I got to get fixed. I got a bed in that other bedroom. The next time y'all going to come and have it fixed, y'all want to stay in the fucking hotel. Y'all stay your ass right here. That way you get fucked up like a chicken and get blistered like Mike and you ain't got to leave. Well, look, I have a bed. Want to sleep on the couch, want to sleep in the bed. You know? Moonshine, cigars, And like beer. I told him, Mike, and you, I know you're going to go with me on this. I might have to use I that bed later. I said, they drink? I clean my house. We'll have to see. Wait, Mike. <laughs> I told him this. This one I'm going to tell you. No more? Yep. Uh, from right. Cool little walk. They'll be ready to eat. All right, yes, here is. we have red caught this morning that y'all caught in the boat with the guy. Yep. Crawfish, okay. Boil crawfish with the veggies. We got potatoes. We got onions. We got weenies. We got mushrooms here that are awesome. Baby portobello mushrooms. You don't need any more than what you got right here. Any more than that, you ain't gonna know what to do with it. And a good cigar when we finish. One hell of a glorious meal. If it got any better than this, the good Lord kept it for himself. He didn't give it to us. Thank you. God bless, amen. Bless, thank the Lord and bless the cook, baby, that we got a feast in front of us. It's for me. You got it? <laughs> You got the picture? Don't tease me now. Don't you tease me. You want me to take the picture? Put your dip on that, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you need a mushroom? All right, we got some friends here. We got a giant dish. This is like a designated crawfish table, right? That's what it is. Made yeah. for eating nothing but crawfish. You ready? Yeah. You can We're eat right. crabs. You can eat shrimp on it. Ooh. So give me, well. give me the crawfish tutorial. How do you eat this? Okay. Little critter. First thing you do is you grab you a crawfish. All right, I got, got a crawfish. Grab a tail. 
You see that second finger? You put that second finger under the tail. Like this. And then you grab that tail and you crunch that skin a little bit. Yep. Crunch the hey. peeling. Yep. You break him out. Uh-huh. You pop that first little ring right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pull that tail out of there. You squeeze the back of the tail and pull that tail out. You suck it, it out? Yeah. Once you finish with that, then you catch the head. You turn the head like that. And that goes in the middle, right? Yeah. yeah. Bam. For my you turn the head like that. And you suck the head. So this is the fat, right? This is the fat part. We're gonna get yeah. around that and eat you something. This, this is the good stuff right here, right? Yeah, that, that, that make, that make the head grow in your nose. So not everyone eats the fat, but the fat's in the head. You eat the tail, of course. This is the good stuff, right? This yellow what's stuff. In the, that's right. There you go. That's the what, fat. That's what the, the choice fat. shit. And you, and, and the take it. You're going to see? Taste it. Ooh. See the flavor in that? You know what, though? Look, you turn him like that, but don't come out here. <clears throat> then you go back in that finger <clears throat> like that. The other finger, look what you got. Yeah. That's goddamn delicious. Dude, I want the that is, that is, That's better than the tail, man. That's so, better than eating pussy. Do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Strike that off the camera. <laughs> so I'm from I'm from New Brunswick, Canada, right? Right. We've got Maine lobster. Not like that. Which is kind of like they, they look the same. Not like that. But what we do is we don't cook it in spices. We just cook it in salt water. Next time you come here, bring some lobster. You bring some lobsters, and I'm gonna cook them like these crawfish. I think I might like it more. I think Canadians get mad at me, man, but this tastes so good. You gonna like them suckers more like this, though? I ain't gonna lie. Mm. So where'd you get this recipe with the ice? I got the ice deal from a friend of mine. I saw ball them and done it, and I saw how the seasoning were in the crawfish. Brandon clarifies this point. If you doing seasoning outside the crawfish, you don't know what you're doing. And then when he puts that ice on it, it kills the ball, but also condenses the flavor and it, it pulls all the seasoning into the meat. The outcome of it, like we say, is the best crawfish you'll ever eat in your life. Skeeter starts a fire, and we light up a couple more cigars. I didn't know this man yesterday. He was a complete stranger. I showed up on his doorstep, ate some frog and gator stew, and here we are. The world is filled with people like this. People who open their homes and hearts to strangers, to people they barely know. Almost reckless hospitality. I have a hundred stories just like this one. People will try and tell you otherwise. People who have rarely left their house. But the true travelers, the ones who venture farthest from home, will all tell you the same thing. The world is not dangerous. It is kind. After a good day at work. It was a great day. <laughs> so you're gonna miss me, Skeeter? Hell yeah. Hell yeah? I enjoy cooking when people eat and enjoy it. Well, we, we enjoy eating when people cook. You know. How, how you was know. my technique? Was it okay? Huh? How, how was my technique with the crawfish? You're doing pretty damn good. All right, I'll take You're that. You're doing pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm really impressed at the way you picked up on it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, man. It's like I'm little, really little Maine lobsters. You know? But I tell you what. I damn sure like to cook some of them lobsters like I've done with them crawfish. I'll I'll see if I can bring you some. You know, if I'll you can get it, I'll have a dozen. Fuck. Take some big main lobsters, cook them like that. I think we'll start a whole new trend. Oh, Fusion. man, I'll tell you what. So, Skeeter, we're at the end of the video. We got to say some final words to the people. Anything to say? Yeah, thank you very much. And thanks to the good Lord for giving us such a beautiful day good time we had and the good groceries. Cheers to that, Need my I friend. Say any you got any beer left in that you can? Know. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Chase your fears, everyone at home. Have some crawfish if you can. Yeah. Come down here, Louisiana, and we'll catch you in the next video here. Thank you. Thank you.